the sea serpent of 1912. On December 28, 1912, in Japan, I walked into the glossy building. I saw my boss. He told me that I would be flying the helicopter. The helicopter that I was flying was a Boeing 17. Now, this was already very strange. As for Edward, the pilot should have been flying. But I saw Edward, and I asked him, why aren't you flying the helicopter? He didn't reply. It looked as if he was paralyzed. Shortly after that, I got a bad gut feeling. Why was Edward being so quiet? Why does my boss want me to fly the helicopter? They told me I was ready to fly the helicopter. But a couple of policemen came in and told us that the ocean that we were testing the helicopter over wasn't safe. Now, I was really nervous, even though I wasn't even flying the helicopter. But my boss didn't care about the warnings. So he asked the policemen to give him a reason why the ocean wouldn't be safe. At that moment, one of them dropped a videotape. My boss quickly snatched the tape, but before he could look at it, the boss snatched it back. My boss managed to catch a glimpse of what the videotape recorded. It said something about a dangerous fish thingy. But my boss doesn't believe in sea monster stories. So a couple of hours pass, and my boss comes into the room and says that the helicopter has been delayed. So he says that I can make myself at home. My boss tells me to stay in a room while the technicians fix the plane. The room had an old rustic feel to it. It was Edwardian styled, and it was very old. The, the room had a painting of an elasmosaurus, and the room smelled of vanilla and tea. As the technicians worked, I found a book called The Case for the Sea Serpents. Interesting, I thought. I began to read it. Nothing really happened until I got to a sea serpent called the Glastor Sea Serpent of 1818. Little did I know I was about to have my own sea serpent sighting. As I stayed in the room longer, I began questioning why the police didn't want my boss seeing the videotape. Could the government be hiding something? Not to mention that there had been lots of missing people disappearing at the Northern Atlantic Ocean. 64 minutes later, my boss tells, tells me that the helicopter is over, is ready. But when I look at the helicopter, some parts are missing. So I ask, and they said that they made some improvements. I quickly said that I didn't want to fly the helicopter, but they didn't care. They shoved me into the helicopter without my consent. And as I sat down, I quickly realized that there wasn't even a seatbelt. Were they trying to kill me? Yes, and I would soon realize that. When I turned around, I was so relieved to see parachutes, so I started flying the helicopter. At first, I was having fun, until I, and I saw a lot of things, until I realized the incident earlier that day about the police, about the helicopter, about why the helicopter didn't have a seatbelt. Before I knew it, I was flying over the northern Atlantic Ocean. I hadn't even realized it, but 6 and 15 minutes later... I saw a weird serpent-like creature. I quickly turned the plane around so that I could get a better look at the creature. It was a serpentine creature with flippers. It seemed to swim at intervals of 10, and the creature was about 60 feet long. And when the serpent thrashed inside of the water, the water seemed to form triangular currents. It was clear when the serpent thrashed, it was in distress. I flew the helicopter a little bit closer to the water. I started to record the creature with a brownie camera. The more I watched it, the more it seemed to resemble a mosasaurus. When I was done recording it, the serpent seemed to... When I was done recording it, the serpent was near an island, so it must have been close to the shore. But as I watched it, I realized something. Maybe this was the reason why the policemen didn't want us flying over the ocean. But when I, but when I watched the sea serpent, I forgot that I was flying the helicopter. So... But when I realized it was too late, I found myself whirling down. But in that moment, I realized what had happened about Edward, about why the, why the helicopter didn't have a seatbelt. They were trying to kill me. But why me, I thought, and then I had realized what I've done. You see, I'm a very lazy person, and my company doesn't have a lot of money. But wasn't there a better way than killing me with a giant sea serpent? But then I just realized that before I started working for this company, they made me sign a contract that said that if I died, it wasn't going to be their problem. And this was the... And this was how they were going to get rid of me, by killing me with a giant sea serpent. As I found myself whirling down, I pointed the plane up. The plane's tail smacked the sea serpent's jawline. Blood flew. As the helicopter went down, I jumped with my parachute. But my parachute got stuck inside of a tree, and I fell 4.11 feet down after my...
after my parachute broke and I survived, but I lost the recording of the sea serpent and I also broke my wrist. After that, needless to say, I never went back to that company. And instead of 1944, I was at an interview and I was talking about the sea serpent and a group of cryptid zoologists were sent out to find the sea serpent, but the serpent was never seen again until 2011 inside of the Gulf of Mexico.